Art education in Kenya is often overlooked due to the rigid exam-based curriculum. However, Peter Mukabi is an entrepreneur in visual arts and is mentoring young people to lead a successful career in art. Take a look. Patrick Mukabi is an artist whose focus is on the human form. His passion for art was spurred when he was in primary school, compelling him to pursue a course in fine arts after high school. When I finished uh, college, I joined a studio called Kuwana Trust and uh, met many other artists who've been there before me, like 10 years before me, and talking to them and just looking at the business model they had. Uh, mostly, there's no like a definite business model. And they say common sense is what prevails. But I think uh, early on, I just learned that um, even the hawker out there, he sells one, 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 and then later on, he's got a shop and maybe becomes also a supplier. So for art, yeah, you paint every day and you try and um, show in exhibition selling one, one, one. Uh, later on, uh, you do an exhibition. Taking up art as a full-time career had its fair share of challenges and Patrick had to work hard to build a reputable brand. Uh, the main thing, of course, in the beginning is getting clientele, getting people to notice your work. Um, you create a name by showing your work. It's like a musician performing every, on, in different concerts. Yeah? Um, and then people to understand your work. By taking part in a lot of exhibitions, you start grading yourself and you start improving. You can't know how you're performing if you're just somewhere hidden. After seeing a gap in the industry for young artists, Patrick created the Dust Depot, a space for creative thinkers to express themselves through art. It's meant for people who have the passion, the interest, but no space to work from. They say if you get saved, you get your fellowship. So if you want to become an artist, why don't you fellowship with the artists also? So this is a space where people can come and fellowship and learn also where to get materials. Um, you know, buying art materials is very expensive. But there are some in the hardware shops where which you can use also, which are almost same quality, just different names. And hopefully when you come here, you can learn all those tricks. Uh, learn also to have a working culture because again, uh, you know, you, if you're an artist, you don't have a boss to push you. You need to paint. If you don't paint one day, maybe it's three months without money or without a sale. As an art educator and mentor, Patrick trains people of all ages and propagates art as a viable career. There are many artists who've made it. It's just that they're not seen. There are very many. I know I have students who I taught came from the streets. They were like street boys who live now in Europe and they work as artists. It's just that you don't get them, you don't get to see them. Okay, the few maybe you see having problems, but also it's learning to live within your own means. Yeah. Um, for me, it's been the same journey. It's just been the same journey where this year you're having good sales, next year you're not having good sales. And uh, learning to plan myself, you know, like if I sell a piece for 5,000, 2,000 goes for material. The rest, <coughs> we see what we do with it. Because many artists in the beginning, they start with nothing completely. But if the material is there, they can be creative. The Dust Depot has been operational for less than one year, raking in over 12,000 US dollars in turnover. My core business is selling art, selling artworks. Um, and luckily, the last two years, I'm selling more to locals. So it's easier for a local to drop in than waiting for a collector from outside. Um, so selling artwork is the main and then followed by uh, teaching, teaching classes, especially hobby classes. Um, this is where people having extra time, they can come in or people wanting to change careers can come in. The depot continues to be a safe haven for budding artists and Patrick hopes that the center will continue to advance the art industry in Kenya. Mentorship is still remaining. We have students coming from KU, from BIFA, from Nairobi. Um, maybe other colleges would bring also. But basically I want it to be a place where people work, just work, 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 produce work. Okay? Um, no playing around, no joking, just work, work, work.